Hey everyone, it's Mr. Boom Boom. Welcome back to my music room. Today's lesson is about an instrument that makes a really big sound. In fact, you hold it up, you move your fingers like this, and you buzz your lips. What instrument is that? That's right, it's a trumpet. Can you all say trumpet? Very good. We're going to learn about the trumpet today and we're going to make our own trumpets. Can you believe that? We are going to use these to get the sound of this. What is this? These are drinking straws. So today's project is learning about the trumpet and then making our own trumpets out of drinking straws. So if you're ready for music today, I would like you to clap your hands. If you're ready for music today, I want you to make a big silly face. One, two, three. All right, it's time for us to sing our hello song. I'm going to play my cajon drum. Let's go. All right, everyone, let's get up and dance. Let's go. Let's say hello to our friends, to our friends, to our friends. Say hello to our friends. We're glad you're here today. All right. Let's do our best dance moves. Here we go. Let's do a dance with our friends, with our friends, with our friends. Do a dance with our friends. We're glad you're here today. Very good. Let's sing hello one more time. Let's say hello to our friends, to our friends, to our friends. Say hello to our friends. We're glad you're here today. If you like the drumsticks that I use in my videos, you can order them right now on my website, mrboomboom.com. You can order these drumsticks, my practice drum pads, shirts, and apparel. So go to mrboomboom.com or scan the QR code on your screen. This is my trumpet, and we spell the word trumpet, T-R-U-M-P-E-T. -E can you say trumpet? Very good. The trumpet is a brass wind instrument. Now that part wind means that we have to blow air with our mouths. So my drum is a percussion instrument because we just tap it with our hands. But the trumpet or another instrument like the trombone or a clarinet are wind instruments, which means they need air from our mouths. Now this is a brass wind instrument. And this part here is the mouthpiece. Can you say that? Mouthpiece. Now, in order to get a sound out of our mouthpiece, we have to buzz our lips. And it's going to sound super duper silly. This is how we do it. We're going to put our lips together like this. And we're going to push air through it while keeping our lips a little tight. Let's try it. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Let's try it again. One, two, three. Now, I'm going to try it putting the mouthpiece against my lips as I buzz. You ready? Let's try it. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. <laughs> so when you buzz your lips into the mouthpiece, it makes a really high silly sound. In order to make a sound with our trumpet, we must put the mouthpiece in, not too tight though, and we put it up to our lips and we're gonna buzz just like we've been doing. Now, I have to warn you, if I play my trumpet super loud, it's gonna blow your nose and ears off. Ah! Are you ready? Do you want me to blow your nose and ears off? Okay, here we go. Count to three. One, two, three. Did that blow your nose and ears off? Of course not. It's not gonna ever blow your nose and ears off. I was just being silly. Now, I'm gonna play something for you. Here we go. That was my jazzy version of Mary Had a Little Lamb. But if you knew that song, that's very good. That means you have a really good listening ear. The trumpet specializes in making medium tone sounds and high tone sounds. Let's start off with a low tone and we're gonna work our way up. Let's 
let's try to make some really high sounds. It can go even higher than that. Let's try it. <laughs> so the trumpet is a very special instrument because it has a big range. It can play some medium tones and go really, really high. Now, the way that I play those notes is I press down on these valves. Can you say that? Valves. There's three valves here. And when I press them in different combinations and loosening or tightening my lip, it changes the sound. Watch my fingers now. All of the sound of the trumpet comes out of here. This is the bell. Can you say bell? A lot of brass wind instruments or even woodwind instruments have bells at the end. The sound that we make by blowing or buzzing into the trumpet and playing our valves here goes through the trumpet and out of the bell. Let's play a game called Name That Tune. I'm going to play some melodies on my trumpet and I want you, using your listening ears, to guess what song I'm playing. Are you ready? All right, here we go. That's right, it was Wheels on the Bus. Let's try another one. That was five green and speckled frogs. Let's try another one. The Jungle Book, very good. You all have a great ear. Hey guys, did you know that I have a book? There's something in my closet out? You can order it right now by visiting mrboomboom.com or scan the QR code on your screen. Now that we've learned about the trumpet, it's time for us to start our straw trumpet project. We're gonna turn ordinary drinking straws into trumpets. It's gonna make a really cool sound, but you're gonna need to practice in order to get the sound, but I know you can do it. Now, while we do this project, we need the supervision of a grown-up. So if there's not a grown-up with you now, call them over because we need their supervision while using scissors. For this project, you will need some drinking straws and, of course, scissors. And remember, only grown-ups use adult scissors. If you're a child, make sure you use kid scissors. All right, are you ready to start our project? If you're ready, give me a big thumbs up. All right, let's begin. I have a large straw, a smaller straw, and my scissors. And again, for children, make sure we have our adults supervising us and that you are using child scissors, never adult scissors like this. All right, let's start off with our smaller straw. Now, the first thing we wanna do is to kind of flatten it like that. So press down on it. And you're gonna flatten it out the best you can. All right. Once it's a little flat, we're gonna to try to make a triangle, but we don't want it to be a sharp point. We wanna leave it like this so that it's um, smooth here, so that we don't accidentally poke our lips if it's sharp. So we grab our scissors, and we make our first cut. And again, I'm gonna cut it at an angle like this. All right, so that is our first cut. Our next cut, we turn it around. We're gonna do the same thing, but again, we don't wanna make a sharp point here. We wanna leave the top part smooth. So I'm gonna cut it like this. All right, so now you see my mouthpiece of my straw trumpet, smooth at the top and curved in like that and curved in like that. All right, in order to play it, we're gonna put our lips like this and we're gonna just buzz like that. Whoa! 
Let's try that again. Wow, that makes a really cool sound. Let's try it one more time. Oh yeah, I know grown-ups are gonna love hearing that sound around their homes. All right, so that is our smaller straw trumpet. Now, if you have a large straw, you can also use a large straw like this. Let's try it. Same thing, we wanna just try to get it as flat as we can, so we just press down on one end of it. All right, once we do that, we're gonna do another cut. Again, almost like a triangle, but not pointing at the top. All right, that's my first cut. Second cut, turn it around. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but remember, never point T at the top. All right, so that is what the top of our mouthpiece looks like. That's what it looks like from the side, kind of like a little beak. All right. Again, you're gonna put it in your mouth. Your lip is gonna stop there. So you're gonna put all of this in your mouth, put your lips down there, and then you're gonna buzz, pressing down on it, and we're gonna get a sound. Whoa. So again, we are gonna put it in our mouth to about this point. Again, grown up, supervise your little ones. Put our lip down like that and. <laughs> now that we've made our straw trumpets, I would like you to play along with me. I'm gonna play the song Mr. Golden Sun on my trumpet and I want you to buzz away on your straw trumpets. Are you ready? Let's do it. able to get a sound out of your straw trumpet, it's okay, it takes a little practice, just like learning to play a traditional instrument, but I know with practice and working hard that you'll be able to do it. Now, let's review the trumpet. This part here that we blow or buzz into is called the, that's right, the mouthpiece. And we put the mouthpiece in and we have to buzz our lips to make a sound. The other part to get different sounds is this. What are these called? That's right, we call them valves. Can you say that? Valves, very good. And when we're buzzing into the trumpet and moving our fingers against the valves, the sound is gonna come out of the, the bell, very good. So we have our mouthpiece, our valves, and the bell. Very good. I hope you all had a great time learning about the trumpet and making straw trumpet sounds. Now, if you weren't able to get the sound, again, it's okay. A little bit of practice will go a long way and I know you'll be able to do it. Now, if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button as well. And I'll see you next time here in my music room. Bye everyone.